What's good guys? Yo, all right. I know there's a lot to explain right now. Why have I not posted for basically a whole damn year? No, I did not die from Corona. Thank God. Um, I didn't get eaten by sharks, nothing like that. I saw some of the comments, people were like, yo, did, did you go to jail, bro? I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about staging some sort of prank where it looked like I went to jail. But uh, anyway, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Trey Wade, not just playing. Um, yeah, so basically what happened, I'll, I'll just give you guys the story from the start. Last year in April, so basically more than 12 months ago at this point, I was waking up one day, just living my life, my friend texts me, yo, you want to play basketball pickups? I'm like, cool. So I go up to, to meet my friends. We're playing basketball. And in the middle of the game, you know, I go hard. You know, I go hard in the paint. Um, in the middle of the game, I just feel this like twinge in my knee. And I, I was like, damn, what the hell is that? But I just kept playing and I kept playing for like another 30 minutes, even though it was hurting. Cause you know, like anyone out there, you guys are, are used to playing sports. You kind of just go with the flow. Oh, whatever. All right. That kind of hurts. Cool. It'll, it'll go away. You know? So I've never dealt with a serious injury before, thankfully. So whatever, it's all good. I finished playing. I think, oh, cool. This is going to go away. You know, whatever. Tomorrow it'll be fine. And I just start feeling this crazy pain in my knee every day and it's just not going away. It's not going away. It's not going away. You know, a week later, two weeks later, a month later. At this point, I was still so active doing a lot of brand deals, doing different events. I, had, I was traveling, so I couldn't stop. I had all these things that I had agreed to do and I just had to go, go, go. And that's how I had kind of been living for honestly like the previous three, four or five years. I don't even know, like I'm just always on the go. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't taking care of my body the way I should. I wasn't warming up before doing things. I wasn't cooling down. I wasn't stretching. I wasn't getting good sleep. I was really just like hustling um, on some Gary Vee shit. If you're not playing soccer seven fucking days a week, 25 hours a day, I'm just playing. Um, I love Gary Vee. But um, yeah, so basically, this just happened for, this went on for weeks and I'm still thinking, oh, this is gonna be fine. You know, I don't need to go to the doctor. I don't need to do nothing, this, this, that. I was taking like these ice baths every day. I thought that the ice would just heal it. And meanwhile, I can't even walk five feet without feeling pain. I can't get up out of this chair without feeling pain. I can't move my knee without feeling pain. So it was really bad. It was the worst pain I've, I've felt in a long time with any injury. So I'm like, after a couple of months, I'm like, bro, I gotta get this checked out. I, I need to know what this is. So I go to get an MRI scan, which is they take a scan of your knee. And basically it comes back and says, I have a torn meniscus. So if you guys wanna look that up, but I had a big chunk of my meniscus torn on, on the uh, medial side of my left knee like 30 35% of my meniscus just hanging loose and what do I what do I think when I hear that great I'll just let it heal by itself <laughs> I'll just drink herbal tea and like look up online remedies until it heals cuz I'm just like a natural person I don't like doing the whole uh, medical route unless it's absolutely necessary I'll just skip this whole part cuz this whole parts boring basically just months and months and months of me trying to let it heal by itself no better, no better, no better. So finally I say, all right, in this, in November, I was like, I'm gonna get the surgery. I don't care, I'm gonna do the surgery. It didn't heal by itself. I'm gonna go do the surgery. It's expensive, it's this, it's that, whatever, but whatever, I'm just gonna do it. So I basically do the surgery and uh, like they just basically tear off the, the part of your meniscus that's like, that's already loose. They just kind of like trim it off so you, you basically, I don't have that part of my meniscus anymore, it's gone. But apparently there's enough meniscus left that you can still function. A lot of soccer players get this injury. Luis Suarez has had this injury a couple times. Arturo Vidal, um, I think John Terry, like shit like that. Like a lot of players have had this injury. Um, so it's nothing, it's nothing that, that crazy. But uh, long story short, um, the recovery took a lot longer than I expected because I really, my knee was really messed up from uh, not healing it for so long. If I had just done the surgery straight away, I would have healed really fast from the surgery. But the problem is I waited so long that I was, I basically just let my whole knee just become so injured in all the areas. So that even after the surgery, it took me a long time to get better. So I only finally feel better now, um, thankfully. And yeah, it just feels so good to be back. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man. That was the hardest 10 month period of my life. Um, there was days I would just wake up and just instantly start crying. Like straight, I would just, I would wake up and then I would, it would take a second for me to realize what's going on. Oh yeah, okay, cool. And then I would like move my leg in my bed. And I, the first thing I feel is just that sharp pain. 
and I just have no idea when it's gonna be better and I would just be like crying first thing in the morning. Like some days I was so depressed. I didn't turn on my phone sometimes for like two whole weeks cause I didn't even want to talk to anyone. Like it was really bad. Like I, I'm, I'm not a depressed person ever, like really, uh, which I'm really lucky, you know, not to deal with that kind of thing. But this, in this, this last year, like there was some messed up days for real. So, um, I want to apologize to anybody that, that messaged me in the last year that if I didn't get back to you, it's not, it's not cause I didn't want to talk to you. It's just cause I was so depressed that I just couldn't bring myself to talk to anyone sometimes. Um, I want to basically say sorry for just disappearing and not saying anything, but I just didn't feel like I knew if I posted something about it, then I'll, I'm going to have to keep explaining it over and over and over. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use this whole time to just take a massive break from social media, just reconnect with who, who am I actually myself? What do I want to do in life? And like, what do I, who am I, you know? Cause I feel like I just really wasn't, you know, communicating with myself. Sometimes I was doing things so much to try to entertain other people that I just forgot about. Yo, you gotta take care of yourself too, bro. Like, so um, yeah, man, thanks a lot to everybody watching this. If you guys are watching it till this far, like I know that you guys are really supporting what I do. So thank you. I will be like posting funny, entertaining shit again, like as soon as possible. So don't worry, like the videos are gonna go crazy again. Um, shout out TikTok. I'm, I'm gonna go crazy on TikTok as well. Um, I heard ugly people do really well on TikTok. Is that true? Cause I, I'm, I'm there, I'm there. The hardest part, Honestly, apart from being injured was like just having to turn down so many great opportunities. Like finally I had built after years and years of just working and working and working. I finally built my Instagram up to, to I think I had like 510,000 followers and I was just getting all these crazy opportunities every day. Finally, you know, making like a decent career out of it or whatever you want to call it. I told you, mom, it's a fucking career. All right. Leave me alone. I do have a job. All right. Um, <laughs> I wake up every day and there'll be crazy opportunities in my emails. Yo, Dan, uh, can you like come to fucking um, Hong Kong and like do this TV show and we'll pay you like this much money and da 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 da. And I, just, I had to just sit there and just be like, hey, sorry, I'm injured, like can't do it. Like, and that would just happen every day, every day, every day, every day. And it was just like, honestly, just so difficult. Like some days I just couldn't deal with it, bro, for real. But yeah, I learned a lot. You know what they say? like you know, you only learn with failure or with struggle. And it's true, you know, all the, all the bad times in my life that I've had, even though 90% of my life has been amazing and positive, the 10% of the bad times, like that's where you learn the most about yourself. And that's where you overcome the obstacles and you get mentally stronger and you come back stronger. So um, if anyone out there is going through something difficult, just keep your head up. It's gonna turn around. Some days I really felt like this wasn't gonna turn around. I really did. Some days I was like, I don't know, like this just, I don't think I'll ever be able to like play soccer again. Like uh, it was bad some days. So if, if I could come out of this one, I know that you guys could come out of it and just, yeah, just try to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you can't some days, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Like some days you're just not going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some days you're just going to, you're just going to be feeling down and feeling really sad and depressed and everything. And that's okay too. That's what I had to learn. It's like, you know what? You, know, you can't just be like so happy every day. Some days it's going to be hard. Some days it's going to be sad. So don't take, don't, um, you know, don't go too hard on yourself and just keep your head up and do what you got to do to to look after yourself. Cause I feel like right now with the internet and everything, it's all about, Oh, I need to like show what I'm doing to everyone and this and this and that. And I'm not like that at all. You know, if I'm not feeling like posting something, I'm just not going to post. So, um, yeah, I lost like a hundred thousand followers, but it's all good. I'll get them back. Right. Right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching this guys. Just wanted to give an update and basically lay all the cards out and just explain why I just haven't been posting. It's not cause I didn't want to post. It's not cause I don't want to talk to you guys. There's nothing like that. It was just a really, really hard period for me. And uh, please God, everything is just going to go on the up and up from here. Um, and hopefully the whole Corona thing goes away as soon as possible too. So I can get back out there and just start doing uh, funny videos. Yeah, that's about it. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, just fucking smash the, so how does, how does social media work again? Smash the subscribe button. Yeah, whatever the fuck that shit is. I'm going to be posting a lot more on YouTube. I got some really funny ideas for YouTube videos that I'm going to be doing. You already know what it is. Shout out to my mom. Uh, thanks for loving me, mom. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> all right. See you guys.